Hello. So this is my senior speech. Uh, Michelle told me I could write one, so here I am. All right, uh, we're gonna try not to cry here, and it's gonna be great, and we're gonna love it. All right, so when Mitch told me that I could do a senior speech at 2 with Love, I was so excited. However, sitting here writing this, it's, it's a lot harder than I thought it would be, so it's kind of all over the place, so here we go. How does one sum up 11 years of their life's artistry in one speech? Well, I started doing shows when I was seven. ACT has been my second home for more than a decade. 61% of my life, in fact. I plugged that into my graphing calculator sitting in English class. <laughs> yep. I wasn't really good at sports, so one summer my mom asked me if I wanted to give theater a try. I reluctantly said yes. I showed up to my first day at Cinderella. I was the only boy. <laughs> Bailey went up and asked my mom if I wanted to play the prince. The answer was hell to the no. <laughs> I didn't even know what I was doing. I just wanted, like, one speaking line. She said, no problem. We have a couple guys who are doing Beauty and the Beast and the Herberger who can help. The next rehearsal, I met Noel Lanouette and Jake Hedeby. <laughs> <laughs> Two of the greatest guys I have ever met. Uh, we did shows during the summers together, and Noah and I quickly became the best of friends. I kind of just did theater for a couple of years by like doing every studio series and summer camp that I could. Um, I eventually wound up getting the role that made like acting my passion and making like theater my hopefully future career. Um, I, got the, I got casted as Dodger in Oliver, and I had to develop a Cockney accent for the role, and pretty much every part I've been in like since then, I've used different accents and dialects, which I learned how to do from Oliver. Um, little details I remember about ACT. Um, I remember my first year of Troublemakers. I remember Melissa teaching me how rhythm works during Camp Rock. Um, I remember Bailey teaching, helping me reach the true p potential of my life because she literally kept my life in order for the first years of my life, which we love her. Um, I remember being an urchin and puking backstage during my first Christmas Carol. <laughs> uh, doing my first straight play with Michael directing. It was Christmas Story, which was actually the first set that I've ever worked on, and I'm actually now going to MCC, and I plan to study um, set design and construction. Uh, he pretty much inspired me to do that. Um, Katie helped me through my two voice changes, and now <laughs> is helping me extend my high range. And of course, Abby helped me develop my love of music theory and how music is a study, and it's not just an art like many people think it is, it's a brain game. And Mitch, of course, telling me to shit down and shut up. <laughs> and putting so much faith in me in production after production. Side note, Michelle actually forced me to fall in love with rock music by a vocal camp making me sing Twist and Shout by the Beatles. And I was like, what is this garbage? This isn't musical theater. <laughs> yeah, now I'm in a rock band, so here we are. Um, I feel like I've had my impact on the theater, I hope. I mean, I was in Troublemakers when we got first in LA. I started an acapella group, and I think and pray that my humor and passion for the artists inspired those that I've worked with. Now, this is not a sad speech, obviously, I'm not crying yet, but it's a celebration of this wonderful family that I've made. It's in celebration of Logan Bridge for dealing and following along with all of my crazy ideas and has been my select buddy for two years now. Of his brother Colin, who is the best little guy I could ask for. Of Madison Rango, who played the Clara to my friend and forever holds a place in my heart. To Bella Padilla, who's done stuff with me since my fourth production. To Ryan O'Connor, who I hated at first, but learned to love his crazy job personally. <laughs> To Maureen Brigham for making every select rehearsal a hell of a lot funnier and crazier. To Anna Cedardall for being a great friend since 101 Dalmatians, which was in the third or fourth grade. Um, for Rebecca Nacero for not, to be my dance partner, partner, just not just literally, but in life as well. To Trevor Borland, whose musicianship pushed me to work harder and develop my own skills. To the Hedebees, who made me laugh in every conversation I have ever had with them. To Tyler Johnson and Spencer Reedman for being the best bigs and role models anyone could ever ask for. To the Smiths who have been my stunt sisters and have helped me grow as a human. To Oriana Valcam for being the sharp pain of my rhyme. To Kira O'Connor for being a literal goddess at the microphone. <laughs> to Noah Lenoet for being one of my best friends I have ever met and continue to be one of my best friends. Um, and a huge shout out to my parents who have helped me, physically allowed me to do this. By financially as well. By physically, I mean they would have said, you're not allowed to do this, and that was it. <laughs> Period. But they allowed me to do this. Uh, shout out to Paul in the hall, if anyone remembers that. That was a minute ago. And yeah, so that's pretty much it. I kind of 
got yelled at at that point, and I had to stop writing. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for 11 great years. So.